Let me be as gold and precious silver purify my heart. Let me be as gold, pure gold, sing refine. My heart, my heart's one desire is to be, is to be holy, set apart, set apart for you, Lord. I choose, I choose to.
wanna burn for you, only for you. And so what we're speaking about this morning is what do you see? What do you see? That's the title of the message this morning. What is it that you see? What do you see? You are quite dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. And as we are growing and as we are gaining in strength, we are gaining in, in experience, we are gaining in revelation, we ought to know that we are dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. If you're born again and you are prayerful, and this morning we're praying about setting up altars and setting up churches in our own homes to circumvent or to come against some of the things that the enemy is planning. In doing so and in responding to that prayer this morning, you become even more dangerous to the enemy. The Lord is revealing to some of you already, I know there are some of us who see things and who get revelation of what is really going on behind the surface. And some of you, you share and you are sharing these things and you are praying and you are interceding. And when you pray, you are coming to a prayer meeting and you are talking some things that the enemy doesn't expect to be exposed, then you are a dangerous foe to the enemy. And so he's raising up an army and he's raised up an army to come and to seek for you. And that's why sometimes we are seeing things and we can see things in our lives going in a way that is not what we expect. We are in war. We are in a battle. There is a war that is being waged against the children of God, especially those that are prayerful, those that are diligent, those that are intercessors, those that are, in, are getting engaged in worship and prayer and the reading of the word. In the last days, there's an, there's an army. And I'm emphasizing this not to scare you. I'm emphasizing this not to make you feel um, apprehensive or scared. I'm emphasizing this because what is coming greater is even greater than this, what I'm saying. When some problems come, it's like they come in a group. Has that been your experience? They, they come in a group. Your car breaks down and then the boiler breaks down and then there is an uncle who, who needs money back. And it's like everything, you're, you're like, can't you just space them out? <laughs> Can we handle problem one month after the other? Do you all need to come at the same time? And then interest rates have now gone up. Your mortgage payments are more. Everything is coming at the same time. An army is coming at the same time because the enemy has realized that there is something that you are being told from the kingdom. There is something that you are being, the, the kingdom, the spirit of the Lord is whispering to you. He is calling and asking that we need to step up as the theme of this year that we have been going through. Step up from the physical realm and step into the spiritual realm because there are things that you will see there that you can't see here in the physical. And when you start seeing those things and you see God for who he is, your reactions will change and your, 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 your way of doing things will change. Hallelujah.